overcast night here in Southern California as we welcome you inside Petco Park in San Diego. Tonight we begin a new homestand with the first of three between the St. Louis Cardinals and the San Diego Padres. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Blake Snell is on the mound for the Padres in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, he's what you call a solid starter, Matt. Most of the time, he's going to keep you in games and eat up innings. Sometimes he's more dominant than that, and occasionally he'll get hit around a little bit. But if he attacks hitters and throws quality strikes in this one, he's going to be just fine. That brings in Tommy Edmond. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Tommy Edmond. First pitch coming here it is first of three here on a Friday night as the first pitch is in there for strike one guys the swing and friars as they take the field here tonight they dropped another one last time out and in fact they've won just twice in their last eight tries yeah Maddie this is a nice one first game of a homestand you played well on the road you got a chance to grab a shower and sleep in your own bed last night I bet you this team comes out on the attack today. And this is taken in for out number one. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. Dero, what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? Yeah, Matty, it's going to be interesting how this offense goes about it. Are they going to go after him early? Are they going to sit back and take? Hope he doesn't have his secondary stuff and drive his pitch count up. You have to find ways. You can't just throw your bats out on the field and think the you're going to score runs off a of premier guy. Harrison Bader comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Oh. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. Snell has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and has allowed just over one run per nine innings an ERA in the low ones two and one the count game time temperature tonight a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch all even now two and two. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Here's Nolan Arenado. And it's fouled away. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. A dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Well, you can't fold the fielder for being aggressive. He sold out to try to catch this thing. But he comes up empty and the ball just squirts by him. High risk, high reward move that just didn't pay off. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 2. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Arenado stands at second with two gone. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. So they can't make anything out of a two out double. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Carlos Martinez will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him Danny. One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job 
keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. So he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game, and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in a big part of the field. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Great spot on that 2 2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. That'll bring up Austin Nola. A ball of no strikes. The average not quite where he wants it, down in the 220s. Three homers and eight runs batted in. The 1 0 home. Swing and a liner. But uh, this lands foul down there to make it 1 and 1. The pitch. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. At the plate, Tommy Pham. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Comes into play here at 273. Six home runs and a dozen RBIs. The 1 0 home. Hey. Gonna be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Hey, this guy's dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is going to be a tough test for the offense. Here's a fly ball well hit. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Three up three down for San Diego. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. into the box Paul DeYoung and he has been pardon the cliche in Fuego the of late season. seen that average oh. shoot up quite a bit over the past eight ball games. Ready with the first pitch here it comes and he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Grisham is under it to make the catch for out number one. That exists. All right, guys, let's take a look at how the pods line up on D. And how fortunate are we that we get to watch the Gold Glover play some center field today. He's on every highlight reel on the regular, making huge plays for his defense, saving runs, throwing guys out at the plate, diving in the gap with his hair on fire. This one should be fun. Standing in now, Tyler O'Neill, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. 
chased a low ball there and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Hey if he's going to execute that curveball and that's the first one of the day if he's going to execute it like that be on the lookout for that one that's going to be a big pitch for him today. Now a swing and a miss he struck him out and it's two up two down to start the second with how hard guys throw these days 94 miles an hour is good but not as impressive as it used to be professional hitters can catch up with that so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off speed stuff to make it look more effective and that's exactly what he did right there to the plate now Dylan Carlson and he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So here's Will Myers. His head to head numbers against Carlos Martinez. Two hits in seven tries. Will Myers. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Count one and oh. Oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's one and one. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. A one and two count to Will Myers. Two strikes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first it. out of the inning. The St. Louis Cardinals Eddie. attack you on defense in this fashion. Machado. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. And in steps Manny Machado as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. A ball and a strike now to Machado. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's he will give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. The two one. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a solo home run off the bat of Manny Machado. Fourth home run for him on the season, and the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. Hey that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno number one man you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else and he did just that. Batting good. First the baseman base. Eric Hosmer is Eric. in fouled away. Oh, He'll let her play here with an average just over 250 nine homers and 21 driven in. Strike taken up in the zone. Padres an early one nothing lead here in the second. And it just misses off the inside for ball one. And here is strike three called on the fastball. Looked to be about eye level, but it's out number two instead. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen. Calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of 
borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. The Padres get one in the inning, and it comes on the solo home run. We've played two. It's 1-0 San Diego. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian here as it'll be Yadier Molina to lead things off. First offering on its way. Yadier Molina is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The 1-1 one, one home is looked at for ball number two. Two and two to the Cardinals catcher. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3-2. and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge end. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Carlos Martinez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Count remains at 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope. That's inside. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting. Tommy Edmund. Now it'll be Tommy Edmund. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. The windup and the 0 1. And Whoa, he misses right with it 1 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Strike 
swing and a ball hit out toward right center. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. Down in order go the Cardinals. It remains 1-0. We're back as the Padres lineup readies for their third turn with the bats. And unfortunately for them, this club has had its issues on offense. One major factor in their struggles has been the strikeout. Entering the day, they have more strikeouts than any other team in the league, leading a member of the coaching staff to tell me, without a doubt, it's something we have to rectify. Strikeouts happen, but sometimes it feels like we're losing focus and just flailing up there, and that can't happen. That's something for us to keep an eye on with this club, Matt. Go. Okay, Four thank you, Huddy. The second baseman. Jake. First pitch of the AB on its way. Jake Cronenworth okay. is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. One and zero. And two and zero as this one's taken low. Now the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. DeYoung gathers it in. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Blake Snell. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Dan, he took that right back at his face right there. Exactly what you're trying to do. Middle cut, though. Are you a little concerned? Yeah, that's a case of the ball being right down the middle. As a pitcher, you want to work the corners and stay out of that middle part of the zone, and he paid for it right there with a solid base hit. Fernando Tatis Jr. will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. That evens it up one and one. On the ground is short. This could be two. The second for one. On to Goldschmidt, and it's in time. A double play, and the side is retired. Nothing doing there for the Friars, but they hold a one nothing lead. So that will bring in Harrison Bader. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball 1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Fouled off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And it's fouled away. Another one sent foul. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Third home run for him on the year. And the Redbirds are even now at one run apiece. Man, you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it, and he might tell you he should have had it, but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches, folks. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. 
Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Now into the box. Paul Goldschmidt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. In there, and it's 0 2 now. This batter's got to be in his head right here. This is where you need to regroup. Fastball in, now change up down the way. This is the cat and mouse that I love about the game. Made a miss on the off speed pitch that time. Paul Goldschmidt is oh, sent packing the for the second out of the, the inning. Bases are empty here with two away, and that'll bring in the Illinois State nope. product, Paul DeYoung. One ball, no strikes to count. One, no strike. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. That's ball three. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. The three one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Fam finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. But the cards are able to tie things up on this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up, all even at one apiece. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that brings up Austin Nola. First offering. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. And he fouls this one off. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Here's a sinker that causes him to back away as that just about got him. I like that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch, but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little oh, bit, you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0-2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Bader is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now batting left fielder Tommy Pham. So now to the plate Tommy Pham. He flew out in his last A.B. First delivery to him. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. Fouled away. Not what he wanted to do there with the slider as it misses well above the zone. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. Next up, Will Myers. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on the way. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Two balls, one strike. A 
good movement bearing in. It's two balls and two strikes. And strike three called as he says you got to be kidding me with the side retired Padres down in order fifth inning coming up tied at one. Welcome back Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks Matt in between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right. Thanks Heidi. And now the first pitch. Tyler O'Neill is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside 1 and 0. Ball 2. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Oh, and a horrible swing there as the count moves to 2 and 1. That's been a great pitch for him all night. Able to push and pull the throttle a little bit, throwing a good fastball located and mixing in that nasty changeup with good arm action. The 2 2. Dylan Carlson is on deck. The 3 2 pitch. Hit hard down the line. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Right field, number three, Dylan. And now, oh. Dylan Carlson. First pitch on its way. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes desperate times. In time as he just gets the tag down. Check out the lead here. That's about as standard as it gets, and it didn't do him a lot of help on that steal attempt either. Could have been a different story if he took another couple feet off the bat. One run on three hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And another foul ball. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to one think ball, about. Strikes, Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Count still at one and two. Oh, the old classic two strike. Let's throw the fastball right down the middle. Not in this game. Got to believe you got to work the corners a little bit more. Fastball two command ball. is paramount at this level. Even count two balls and two strikes. Swing and a hard liner to center field. He's under it and that ends the inning. Redbirds down quietly. Halfway home all even at one apiece. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Third baseman. Manny First pitch on its way. Manny Machado is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1 and 0. Fouled off.
very high two and one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Popped him up. Goldschmidt is there for it. He's got it one away. Up next. So one gone in the inning now, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Eric Cosmer. And now pitch on the way. Here's the pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. In time to first, and there are two away. The center fielder, number two. So the bases are empty with two gone now, and that brings up Trent Grisham. First pitch of the A.B. now. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that oh, scores that is going to win this one. One and one the count. One run, two hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw in time and the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. We played five full, tied at one aside. Now at the plate, Carlos Martinez flew out in his only at bat so far. The pitcher, number 18, Carlos. with the first pitch here it comes not even close on that swing no balls and a strike hey if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy gotta believe that pitch is coming again right here and it's fouled away swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one well, pitching domination continues. Just a total of two runs on the board. So both of these starters should feel really good about their showings. If you love good pitching, this has been the game for you. So now to the plate, Tommy Edmond. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And he falls behind 0 and 2. On its way is pitch number 75. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. Slow little grounder left side. And there's out number two. And now in the box, Harrison Bader. He went deep last time up. Boy, this guy right here in that last AB. How about straightaway oh, center side. field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark. But a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out the center. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Grisham, and he's able to get there on the long run, and he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Score remains tied one to one. Now to the plate, here is Jake Cronenworth. A matchup with Carlos Martinez to lead off the inning. 
throw network. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit back toward the mound. And that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Jose Azucar will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Now the first pitch. To come in here at 259, three homers and 16 RBIs. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. O'Neill waits on it. One away. So a runner at first now with one away. And that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Comes set. Here's the nothing to nothing pitch. And a ball 1-0. Two and oh. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hotly and the runner back safely. Two and oh count here it comes runners off for second. Hits this one hard the other way. And a perfect hit and run ball as that's into right field, the base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Hey guys, right there. You look for weaknesses. Can a guy come in? Can he command them? Obviously not the case in this situation. He went to the well outside half three times, and eventually the batter made a nice adjustment. Austin Nova is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Wow, the Padres have been scuffling so far. They need to get a big hit, and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. A ball and two strikes now. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0 2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one, hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Here comes the one two in the dirt and block behind the plate and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two a swinging bunt out in front of the plate a tag for one relay to first in time and just like that the side is retired. So no runs on two base hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Seventh inning coming up, all tied at one and one. Here's Johnson. It's on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. So now here is Nolan Arenado in his career against this pitcher. He's 0 for 4. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Hey, this one's tied late in the game as a pitcher right now. You just can't lay a cookie in there 1 and 0. And that one yanked just foul. The 
the 1-1. Swing and a ground ball to third. On to first and a big out to start the seventh to one gone. The batter, the first baseman. One gone for the Redbirds in the seventh. And stepping in, the power hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. It's a solo shot here for Paul Goldschmidt. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Cardinals take a 2-1 lead. That wasn't the plan. You just have a meeting with your pitching coach to go over some strategy. And all of a sudden, you throw one and it leaves the ballpark. Now that second base. So Paul DeYoung digs in next. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Takes this the other way to right. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. One and two. To short, hit hard. And there's his first base hit in this one. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. At the plate now, Dylan Carlson, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's one for two in this one. Fouled away. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. Grisham is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with show track. Seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. Uh, so laid out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Molina swings and misses. He's in trouble now behind 0 and 2. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. We're back at Petco Park in just a moment. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Daniel Ponce de Leon will come on now and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Lane Thomas is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. 
Stepping in once again is Tommy Pham. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run, just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Boy, talk now about getting it. into right some field. rough luck. Yeah. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented a tying run. Here's Will Myers. He'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Outside. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. 2 to 1, our score. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at 2 and 2. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Well, you never want to issue a free pass if you can help it. But when a hitter like that digs in, you'd rather be standing at first than driving a ball out of here and erasing your one-run lead. So here is Manny Machado popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up time. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Swing and a liner, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Fouled off. Got to believe that was a mislocation because it missed right down the middle. This guy's going to have nightmares at the plate thinking about missing that one. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Ball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first oh, base. Now with two outs it becomes base. a lot more difficult yeah, to manufacture that guy Not home. Her. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Eric Hosmer to the plate now as the first pitch here's a bit high it's ball one for his career in this matchup he's one for two. Myers is off of first with two away. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. 
quick check on that tying run at first. Runner back safely. Now the 2 0. Runners on the move for second. Line toward right center. Vader will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Padres leave one. They're down 2 1. Lane Thomas now and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Set. Here it comes. And he popped him up. And there's a base hit. So a chance to add a little insurance here as the leadoff man is on to start the eight. Now battle. The Joker. Into the box, Tommy Edmond, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Oh, two pitches, a curveball that misses one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. And it's fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Here he comes again, 1-2. Pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Again, another foul ball. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Left center, base hit. You don't see that too often. You starting to get in swing mode and you start fouling off multiple pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag if he'll throw it. Nice job by the offensive player to get himself to face it. That'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. There's one. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Austin Adams gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. Stepping in now, Nolan Arenado. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh, 
Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Man, the Redbirds, they've been struggling all game long. They've yet to been able to get that big hit. This is the time for the big hit for the Redbirds. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Nolan Arenado sent packing for the second out of the inning. Paul Goldschmidt will stand in to try it again already with one home run of the ball game and on cue. Here it was back in the seventh inning a solo shot that provided quite a spark for these guys looking to keep this a one run game the pitch as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A ball and a strike to the Cardinals first baseman runners at the corners two men out hot shot to third. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Hard strand a couple. They lead it two to one. Andrew Miller is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. And the hit will be Trent Grisham. Lifetime against Andrew Miller. Small sample, a perfect one for one. First pitch of the AB now. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. The 1 0 home misses for the second ball. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Swung on, missed 2 and 1. I mean, he had to. I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt and say he was sitting something off speed. Because to be late on a fastball in a count like that is just unforgivable. And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot down the line in right as we are all knotted up at two. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. And at the plate is Jake Cronenworth. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. They'll run this one in on him and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a line drive. But quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit, and there's one gone. Next, it'll be Austin Adams. The pitcher, number 54, Austin Adams. Jorge Ona will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pitch so crucial in a tie ball game, so he'll step out and ask for time.
He's set and the pitch. Oh. She'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. One run in and one gone so far this inning. The 1 0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bader is there now, and he has it two gone. The batter. That's so the lineup ball. flips over and digging in, Fernando Tatis Jr. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Hard hit at third. A dive and he knocks it down. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. The batter. He's getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Luis Camposano will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. From the stretch. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. The 1-0. Oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's one and one. Two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Ball three, not close with the sinker that time. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Smoke toward the hole, and that's through for a hit. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. And he will score now from first. And the throwing mistake there, getting the ball in, is going to wind up costing him. Well, we've been treated to a neck and neck game so far, and the last thing anybody wants is for a misplayed ball to be the difference. But that's where we're at right now as the error leads to the go ahead run. Alex Reyes enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Next to dig in, Tommy Pham. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. First pitch of the A.B. now. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Back on it is the left fielder to the track, and it's gone! Two runs on the board after the home run by Tommy Pham. Seven home runs for him on the year now, and just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. And the home crowd has really come to life here in the bottom of the eighth. They know as well as anybody that a three-run lead this late in the game is awfully tough to overcome, especially on the road. Three outs, and this one is theirs. At the plate, Will Myers. It's a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. No hits to this point. Oh, and one, here it comes. One and one. And he misses oh, two and one. Hit hard to short. Right to him. 
Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Padres five and the Cardinals two. Luis Camposano will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. Lifetime numbers against Joe Musgrove. He's got one hit in 19 tries. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. First pitch on its way. Popped him up. This will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. Rip down the first base line. But uh, this will get foul for strike two. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Reined in. Throw on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Next to hit, Tyler O'Neill. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. One ball and two strikes to count. Hopped up. Machado has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now Matt Carpenter will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Here's the first pitch. He lays off a fastball too low for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Line to the right side. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. Yeah, and the home crowd is loving it as they jump out in front in the bottom of the eighth. And they did what they had to do in the ninth. Seal the deal. 5 2, the final score tonight. The San Diego Padres posted four runs in the eighth on the way to victory. Austin Adams claims the win out of the pen, his first. Joe Musgrove wraps it up for the save, his first of the year. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres. Five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For St. Louis, two runs on eight hits, one error.